Inside this lab in Baltimore, Maryland, technicians develop phages or phages that are viruses they use to fight bad bacteria. I'm the one who actually sets up the fermenter, grows the bacteria, and inserts the phage, and actually monitors the process from start to finish. Intralytics is a biotech company that produces bacteriophages, or bacteria-fighting microorganisms. A bacteriophage targets a specific bacterium, for example, Listeria or E. coli, attaches to it, then injects its DNA into the cell. A phage replicates itself inside the bacteria, fights it, and kills it. Intralytics developed Lishield, the first ever U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved bacteriophage cocktail that can be applied directly to food. Lishield is designed to kill Listeria, a bacterium typically found in seafood. Alexander Sulakwalidza is the chief scientist and founder of Intralytics. What we're trying to do is to find the most effective phage in the environment, put it in a product, and then put it right back into the environment, spray it on a food sur surface, say, and improve the food safety. In February of 2011, the company also got FDA approval for EcoShield used to kill E. coli, a microorganism typically found in meat, seafood, or vegetables, such as spinach. The technology cultivates phages. This dish is filled with E. coli, the tan-looking portion of the dish. And the little specks you see are actually the cleared area where the phage has destroyed the E. coli. In a short amount of time, you can see the E. coli being destroyed by the phage as the dish begins to clear. The phages go into an end product that looks like water one that is colorless, odorless, and without taste. It doesn't, doesn't have much taste at all, if any. Phage development is not new. In fact, phages were discovered by a French microbiologist in 1916 and had been used in a variety of ways ever since to treat various human infections. Georgetown University professor Paul Rupi says phages work very effectively against bacteria in lab settings, but outside of a controlled environment, there are concerns about the microorganisms. We would worry about the phage picking up the ability to infect other bacteria over time, particularly when you're using so many of them so often. But phage technology is attractive because of its low cost. Sula Kualidza says EcoShield can be applied for about one cent per kilogram of food as compared to, say, radiation, which is three to five times as expensive. Within two years, Entralytics expects to have a phage to kill Shigella, a waterborne bacteria that causes dysentery, an illness that kills more than a million people a year. Now, the fact that most of the Shigella infections occur in developing countries, Africa, Asia, and so forth, uh, is also fits well to this technology because it's fairly inexpensive and it's cheaper than say preparing antibiotics and it's most environmentally friendly approach that you can think of today and so it really has a lot of pros for, for introduction in those countries and saving tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands of lives. Real world conditions are very different from the laboratory conditions. I'm sure the data, the preliminary data for these products from the laboratory setting is impressive, but in the real world setting, how are they going to work? Experts say there is no way to make food completely safe, but phage applications on food are another line of defense. Entralytics plans to have a phage that kills salmonella in a year, and the products they make are kosher and halal certified. I'm Philip Alexio, VOA News.